Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. Today, as promised, we'll be taking a look at the HPE ProLiant DL560 Gen 10 server. This is the 2U version of HPE's high-performance mission-critical 500 series platforms. It offers very much the same performance and capabilities as the 4U DL580 Gen 10 we reviewed a few weeks back, just not as much storage. However, it still supports up to four Intel Xeon scalable processors in a 2U chassis for a serious infrastructure upgrade. Let's take a look. Instead of the 48 storage devices supported on the DL580, the ProLiant DL560 Gen 10 only supports a paltry 24 storage devices up front. Still very impressive, especially for a 2U chassis. Add in support for up to four Intel Xeon scalable processors and up to six terabytes of memory, and it's even more impressive. What's the system good for? Crazy virtualization with all that memory and CPU cores, plus in-memory database applications, consolidation, business critical workloads, you know, your general four processor data intensive application type stuff. Cloud and data center? Absolutely. There are three basic chassis configurations, an 8-bay, 16-bay, and 24-bay system, that last of which will take up the first storage box, also known as the Universal Media Bay. You can achieve that maximum storage potential using 24 2.5-inch SAS SSDs for up to 184 terabytes of storage. The Universal Media Bay can also be outfitted with two 2.5-inch drives, which will throw off that earlier math a bit for certain drive configurations. It also has a few USB ports, a display port, and slimline optical device. Up to 14 SATA drives are supported natively using the integrated S100i SR Gen 10 software RAID controller, but you can also support more drives plus SAS or NVMe with a PCIe Smart Array HD RAID controller. Are you interested in the HPE ProLiant DL560 Gen 10 server? I'll take over. For a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase of a system listed at $5,000 or more. Not only that, but we can custom configure your specifications and send it out for next day delivery. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. You have a choice of several Smart Array controllers, including the brand new HPE Smart Array P824i-P MR Gen 10 12 gigabit per second SAS PCIe controller. Say that five times fast. The system will also support a maximum of 12 NVMe drives with all four processors installed, plus additional items like NVMe risers. You'll need those for the NVMe drives. One more thing, if you purchase the 8-bay version, it can be upgraded in the field to support 16 or 24 drives. Configurations for this system include both dual and quad processor configurations using Intel Xeon scalable Gold 5100 or 6100 processors. If you're going with only two processors, go with the Gold 5100 series. Or you could go with four of those ridiculously expensive Platinum 8100 processors. And like I said in one of the other videos, top of the line scale of processors have three UltraPath interconnects or UPI per processor for vastly improved inner CPU communications. Not to mention gains in performance and cores, plus reduced power draw over the previous generation. Two processors are mounted directly on the motherboard and support 12 memory module slots each. The third and fourth processor sockets reside on the upper CPU mezzanine board. The CPU mezzanine mounts directly over the other two processors like a twin-sized bunk bed. It supports a full complement of 12 memory slots per processor for 24 additional memory slots. Added to the 24 supported on the main board with all four processors installed, and that would be 48 active slots. Each Xeon scalable processor supports six memory channels with two memory slots per channel, although you will need four of those processors with the M if you want to hit that maximum memory capacity of six terabytes. Registered, load-reduced, and non-volatile memory modules are supported in varying capacities. LR DIMMs will provide the most capacity at 6 terabytes, R DIMMs up to 1.5 terabytes, and NV DIMMs up to 384 gigabytes. NV DIMM memory modules provide better resiliency for data protection in the event of a power failure, storing data in a non-volatile flash memory vault on the module itself. Later, when power is restored, the system will determine the most current data between the NVMe memory module and the upfront storage devices and store the data accordingly. Additional storage is provided in the primary riser by an optional three-slot riser that supports two M.2 storage devices, one on each side of the card. An optional secondary riser supports two more M.2 storage sticks and connects to processor number two. In total, the system supports a maximum of eight PCIe 3.0 slots on three separate risers, a primary, secondary, and tertiary and there are quite a few choices depending on your intended workload. The CPU mezzanine board also supports an optional four-port NVMe mezzanine daughter card that will connect up to eight NVMe front-mounted drives. That last one won't take up any of your PCI slots, but it does require all four processors. If you want to load in 12 NVMe drives, which is the maximum supported on this system, then you will need to add another card to connect the NVMe drives. Powering the system are either two or four 800 watt or 1600 watt power supplies. With four power supplies installed, the tertiary riser option is not supported because there is simply not enough room, even if you use a shoehorn. The HPE DL560 Gen 10 server is one of the world's most secure platforms. 
along with the rest of the Gen 10 product line. Security features include digitally signed firmware that won't even run unless verified via the integrated Lights Out 5.0 management subsystem and HPE secure encryption. Integrated Lights Out provides local and remote access to the system using a standard browser and also helps administrators with automation, updates, troubleshooting, and deployments. An optional chassis intrusion switch can be installed to provide alerts when the system cover is removed. A dedicated slot on the back lower left of the system can be outfitted with an optional flexible LOM or LAN on motherboard. The flexible LOM won't take up any of those PCI slots either. There are four different flexible LOMs to choose from, an entry, a base version, and two performance models offering 10 and 25 gigabit ethernet with two ports. You can also choose from a range of other networking cards that can be installed in the PCI slots offering even faster connection speeds at up to 100 gigabits per second with InfiniBand. The HPE ProLiant DL560 Gen 10 server offers high density coupled with four processor performance for mission critical applications. This platform is an outstanding choice for enterprise applications and data centers occupying only two units in your enclosure, but you get better power consumption plus significant storage, memory, and super fast I.O. options to meet your business needs. IT Creations has this server and over 7,000 other servers in stock at any given time. If you're looking to upgrade or replace a server, give IT Creations a call and don't forget that special offer. We hope you enjoyed our short review of the HPE ProLiant DL560 Gen 10 server. If you have any questions on this platform or any other, just post them in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.